Hello everyone and welcome back to The Perfect French with Dylan. Today we are going to learn everything about the direct object and the direct object pronoun. It's going to be very easy, we are going to go step by step. In the book we are going from page 197 to 203. De 197 à 203. If you want to test yourself right after, you can join me on Instagram for a little quiz on my story. So first, what is a direct object? A direct object is something, it's a group of words, including a noun referring to things or people placed directly after the verb. We can find it by asking the questions. Quoi ou qui? So if we look at the pattern, we have subject, verb, direct object. You will see it's very easy, it's a lot of words, but it's the same in English. Let's jump right into it. We are going to start with two sentences, two simple sentences with the question quoi. And if you look at the sentence, je lis un livre. Je lis un livre. I am reading a book. Je lis quoi? Basically, I'm reading what, but what am I reading? A book. Un livre. Un livre is the direct object. As simple as that. Very easy. It's another one. Elle écrit une lettre. Elle écrit une lettre. What is she writing? A letter. Une lettre. Une lettre is the direct object. Now, two sentences with qui. Very easy as well. Il appelle. Ashley. Il appelle Ashley. Il appelle qui? Ashley. Ashley is the direct object. Another one. J'aime Jack. J'aime Jack. J'aime qui? Jack. Jack is the direct object. You can already practice with the exercise 4.1. You have, I believe, 10 sentences in French and you have to find the direct object. You have to circle. Next point is to see the direct object pronoun. So a direct object pronoun basically is a pronoun that replaces the direct object. The direct object pronoun is placed before the verb in French. So we have subject, direct object pronoun, and then the verb. Once again, you have almost the same in English. It's very not hard. If we look at I am reading a book, we saw that a book is the direct object, and if we turn it into a pronoun, it's I am reading it. It is the pronoun. I know that in languages there's usually a lot of big words, but if you know a little bit of English, this is very easy. And we have the same for Ashley, actually. Il appelle Ashley. He is calling Ashley. He is calling her. Easy. Just like you, we have different direct object pronouns. We have me o m apostrophe. Why m apostrophe? Before a verb that's going to start with a voyelle or a silent h. And then we have te o t apostrophe. Le o l apostrophe. Here it changed a little bit because it's going to be either him or it. Because you know that in French we have gender. So if I want to talk about a computer, what it's going to be le, because it's masculine in French. And we have la or elle apostrophe for her and it. Us is nous. You is vous. And them is les. Easy. Let's see a few sentences and replace the direct object by a direct object pronoun. We saw already a few of them. We have je lis un livre. Je lis un livre become je le lis. Je le lis. Elle écrit une lettre. Elle écrit une lettre. Elle l'écrit. Il appelle Ashley. Il appelle Ashley. Il l'appelle. J'aime Jack. Je l'aime. Nous attendons le bus. Nous l'attendons. So here, the sentences are very simple, but we can add an adjective in there if we want, if we say. Elle lave sa nouvelle voiture. Elle lave sa nouvelle voiture. 
sa nouvelle voiture is the direct object. So we are going to change all that into elle la lave. Elle la lave. That's it. It's pretty easy, I think. It's not too hard. Is it? Exercise 4.2. A quick side note, because I see a lot of mistakes about it, is that some verbs in English take a preposition when in French they are followed by a direct object. It is going to be important for the next few lessons, but we are going to see it now. So make sure to remember it and make sure to come back to it whenever you feel like you need to. So we have six verbs that don't take a preposition in French and are followed by a direct object. We call them the red cap. I wish I had a red cap for this lesson so bad. I do not have a red cap. So we have regarder quelque chose, quelqu'un. In English, to look at something, somebody. So because of that, a lot of mistakes happen. So make sure to remember the six. Next one. Écouter quelqu'un, quelque chose. Demander quelque chose, quelqu'un. Chercher quelque chose, quelqu'un. Attendre quelque chose, quelqu'un. Payer quelque chose. Okay? Just make sure to remember them. Now let's go into the next point when we have direct object pronoun and negation. There's a lot of elements coming together in the sentence, I know. But just make sure to know their place and everything will be fine. So here, for the negation, you know that the negation goes around the verb. Well, in this case, the pronoun, the direct object pronoun, is always going to be before the verb. No matter the negation, no matter anything, it always stays before the verb. So we have subject, ne, direct object pronoun, the verb, and then pas. Or any other negation possible. We saw them. Remember? So let's see. Est-ce que tu regardes la télévision? Non, je ne la regarde pas. Est-ce que tu regardes la télévision? Non, je ne la regarde pas. Ok? Another one. Je ne trouve pas mon téléphone. Est-ce que tu l'as vu? So here we have already the direct object pronoun. Est-ce que tu l'as vu? Non, je ne l'ai pas vu. Non, je ne l'ai pas vu. It's very easy, just remember always before the verb. And you can try the exercise 4.3. Now, the direct object pronoun and the passé composé. So the passé composé is made out of two verbs. If you remember, we have the auxiliary and then we have the past participle. Today, we are going to focus on the passé composé with avoir. In the passé composé with avoir, the past participle does not agree in gender and number with the subject. It's not like the passé composé with être. It doesn't agree in gender and number with the subject because he agrees in gender and number with the direct object pronoun. When the direct object pronoun is before the verb, we have another situation that we are going to see. Remember, only when it's before the verb. So we are going to have direct object, avoir, past participle, and then we are going to add whatever is needed to the past participle. It can be e, it can be s, it can be es, and that's it. So let's see. In this case, the direct object can be the direct object pronoun that we saw. So le, la, les, nous, etc. We are going to see the same sentence with different gender, different number. If we say, j'ai commandé un thé. J'ai commandé un thé. Un thé is masculine singular. So because of that, j'ai commandé un thé becomes, je l'ai commandé. Because it's masculine singular, we don't add anything at commandé. If you want to say that you order two teas, we have, j'ai commandé deux thés. De the masculine plural. So, if we turn that into a direct object pronoun, we have Je les ai commandé. Je les ai commandé. Commandé, S. If you want to say, j'ai commandé une glace, an ice cream, une crème glacée, the same, it's a synonym. J'ai commandé une glace. Une glace is feminine singular. Je l'ai commandé. Je l'ai commandé. Et, uh, 
Les filles, on le sait, j'ai commandé deux glaces, two ice creams. Je les ai commandées. Je les ai commandées. Et ES. The past participle is also going to agree with a relative pronoun. We haven't seen those yet. So we're still going to see them in this lesson. So a relative pronoun is going to be que, Q apostrophe. So if we look at the four exact same sentences, we are going to have le thé que j'ai commandé, the tea that I order is just a different way to build the sentence. That's it, the tea that I order, you have the same in English. Le thé que j'ai commandé, here it's masculine singular, so it doesn't change. Les deux thés que j'ai commandé, les deux thés que j'ai commandé, S. La glace que j'ai commandé, la glace que j'ai commandé, et E. Les deux glaces que j'ai commandé, les deux glaces que j'ai commandé. A -E -S. I always say that you don't have to remember about the relative pronoun, you can just remember the direct object. Because you can still find the direct object even in a sentence with a relative pronoun. Les deux glaces que j'ai commandé, the two ice creams that I order, I order what? Two ice cream. So two ice cream is still in the sentence, you don't always have to know the relative pronoun if it's not something that sticks with you. One last thing. The past participle only agrees with direct object or when it's before. It doesn't agree with any other pronoun. Only that. Only the direct one. Okay? To practice, you can do the exercise 4.4 and 4.5. Tomorrow, we are going to see everything about the indirect object pronoun. It's going to be really easy as well. Don't worry. So I will see you tomorrow. À demain.